rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Praise be unto Allah, the Lord of the world Blessing and salutation upon the final messenger Muhammad Mustafa His entire family and his entire companions فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم من المؤمنين رجال صدقوا ما عهد الله عليه تلك الدين جلولي اسم اسم الله سلام الله الله I'm extremely happy to be with you here in this great ceremony that has been held here in this crowd present our most successful chairman and teacher and judges may Allah protect them all السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I just stand here to say something about important of honest, which is the most important thing on human being life. If I like give you mind, I will try to say something about this topic. Dear brothers, honesty is the great virtue of human life. Honesty is the good attribute and blessing of Almighty Allah. Almighty Allah gives this attribute to whomever He wills. Honesty and in in reality are the best qualities. Honesty is a good and virtuous of a believer. May Allah reward honesty. Referring to the prize and virtues of the truthful, the Quran says, مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رِجَالٌ صَدَقُوا مَا عَهَدُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ فَمِنْهُمْ مَا قَضَى نَحْبَهُ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَنْتَظِرُ مَا بَدَّلُ تَبْدِيلًا لِيَجْزِيَ اللَّهُ الصَّادِقِينَ بِصِدْقِهِمْ وَيُعَدِّبَ الْمُنَافِقِينَ إِنْ شَاءَ وَتُوبَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَكَانُ اللَّهُ مَخْرُ رَحِيمًا That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards the truthful for their truthfulness and punishes the hypocrites or forgives them if Allah wills. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of forgiving and most merciful to Surah Azzam. Dear brothers, now I'm going to tell you a story about honesty. Once they were living a poor rich couple, he had maintained his family consisting of six members with a great difficulty. He always thought of additional income for maintenance of his family. One day will through walking through field, he found a purse of gold dropped by passerby. He took it home with the intention that he will return it to his owner immediately after finding finding him. But his wife was a great human. She told him not to do that, rather keep it for their benefit. But as the rich couple was a, a very honest. He didn't succumb to the temptation. He told his wife he would return it without an effect. He didn't want he didn't work, want to waste any time. He went to a nearby police station and submitted the parts of the gold at the police station with a detailed picture of the location and how he found it. The duty police officer submitted the parts and made a duty and thank him to for his, his honesty. The rich couple returned home with a satisfied mind. After four days later, he was walking for he was going out for a start his day. Suddenly he saw a, a police vehicle and another car in front of his house. They are they were searching for the man who submitted the purse of gold at the police station. When he confirmed his identity, the police officer introduced the owner of the purse. The man impressed his gratefulness to the rich couple. As a reward for his honesty, the man gave him a lot of money for starting a small shop and earned more to support his family. The rich couple thanked him and thanked Allah for giving him a strength, the strength to remain honest in difficult conditions. My brother in Islam, Islam is the religion of peace and security. So it wants a peaceful society. Islam doesn't lie, dishonesty, robbery, deception, corruption, and lies. Islam has pointed out the right and wrong path. Now it is the responsibility of a person who chooses the right path or bad path. But it's the fact that the people, the, but it's the fact that the people of society who becomes virtuous and honest spend their lives with prosperity and peace in society. If I, we talk about contemporary, contemporary society, if we talk about contemporary society, it is the fact that we are going to downfall. We are going to downfall because we have ignored the teaching of Islam. 
Due to we see everywhere in society, unethical values, dishonesty, kidnapping, murdering, violence, deception, corruption, etc. The progress and prosperity of Islam, the progress and prosperity of a society, the main need, he will return. When we are honest, we build strength of character that will allow us to be a great service to Allah and others. When people will be honest, then the environment of society will be honest. May Allah make us and made us honest and helping us for being honest. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.